he just knew he could sense it. Hello, welcome back to another PSGL uh, video. Today it is Austria, as you can see in the background. Um, heading into this race, we are about 10 points off the championship lead, so definitely still in the hunt for it. Um, ideally, obviously, we were leading the championship, then we have those two non... Um, Non finishes, um, which were not ideal. It pretty much killed our championship um, lead completely and put us even behind. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I have got a bit of a sore throat, so if I do cough, allow it, please. Um, so yeah, in the background is actually Q1. Uh, we're on the soft tyres, going out with 17 minutes to go because, as you're about to see in a minute. <clears throat> as my throat is dying as you hear in the background a few people I'm in the call with taking it with a bit of fun and it starts to rain here um, yeah, I, I, if I'm being honest the reason I'm in a call I wouldn't usually for a serious race like PSGL be in a call with people but um, since you just need that fun element in this game um Got to, send it to be motivated, really. Okay, you kind of just need it. Right. Um, and we are definitely oh, still in the championship oh, hunt um, oh, for this uh, oh, season no. 32, oh, I believe. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. So in ahead is literally every car nearly on the grid. Um, so we're going to have to really nail a lap here because we're going to have the worst conditions out of pretty much anyone. Um, you see it just weaving to get some extra temperature because the surface temps are very low um, as the rain is starting to take an impact in the track. Usually in this game the rain starts to really make an effect about a minute after it comes starts raining unless it says it's going to go straight to full wet. Um, but you see it, it's still not wet enough to be... Um, Caution for intermediates. Uh, still got decent amount of grip. 16-1 uh, through the first, so that's only about tenth and a half off. Um, maybe two tenths. But you see, here, that is when I felt it. That's when I knew the grip was going to start to fade. Out of the slow speed, fifth gear wheel spin. So down into turn four, you see, carrying a lot of speed in, a lot of understeer, DRS disabled. So that's another telltale sign that the grip is fading. Luckily, it did disable after our last DRS straight, so that is perfect. But now through the middle sector, you see it struggling to get to some of the apexes. But um, yeah, carrying some decent speed. Um, Lap so far, not great. But again, like you need to be pushing the boundaries. It's better to take minimum speed than be completely under the limit. Six uh, one. That's about just under three seconds off. Um, you might be all right and we do joke. get yeah. through actually in uh, in P12. So yeah, decent lap there to be honest, considering the conditions. Um, just managed to carry some speed through the corners, not really hit any apexes, but yeah, it will do. Uh, as you heard in the background there, a new voice. That's Big C, the uh, PSGO owner. Um, also, I've seen some a lot of hate <laughs> going towards PSGL. Please don't. Uh, there's no need, especially with the um, the Thomas Ronha situation, which everyone Nine. knows about. Please don't go around throwing hate at, um, at, at the league, especially um, because there's been no hard evidence yet. So, yeah, please just keep it respectful towards the league because the league can't just ban people um, it's not how it works you you can't just go around banning um, whoever you think is cheating uh, as there is a massive cheating scandal I guess at the moment but yeah uh, please don't uh, go for and hate at the league especially because yeah there's there's no real need throw and hate it even Thomas it's not really gonna achieve anything it's just gonna make you look petty so uh, yeah please don't <clears throat> and just enjoy the races I guess um, <laughs> because ultimately 
if there is someone cheating, it's only pushing us harder to get better and get on their pace. Um, so yeah, once again, please don't throw hate at the league. Um, PSGL and WR, um, they can't ban people. Um, I've seen a lot of hate go more towards PSGL um, for this whole situation. Oh. So there's nothing they can do. It's a community run league. Um, people are doing it for no money. And the amount of work that goes into create these leagues is insane. So again, don't go throwing hate at them. They're not doing anything wrong. But you see in the background, back onto the league race. Um, that is P5 for us. Um, and we did more than enough to get through um, into Q3. Um, <clears throat> as you hear, I'm having a little bit of a conversation in the background. Um, yeah, it's the dodge tax, that's all it is. The legend might not be cheating, I might have. Might have. <laughs> so we're joking around with the cheat and stuff again, because that's what you really got to do with it. You just got to joke around with it, um, as it's too big to ignore, ignore now. Um, just have a joke with it. <laughs> Don't go around accusing because someone said or whatever. Because I've seen a lot of people accusing certain people. Um, and it's for completely irrelevant stuff like it makes no sense what people are accusing some people for so yeah sorry for my little rant but it is quite annoying seeing some people hop on the bandwagon um, trying to th talk like they know what they're talking about but they know nothing uh, <laughs> in a polite way of saying it um, so yeah. Honestly, he's the most but anyway, that's my little um, my rant done about this whole situation. <laughs> my God. Um, obviously, I hope uh, Codemasters implement an anti-cheat to yeah, just like, get rid of this whole situation. There is hopefully a situation okay, coming where it should, for F1 Esports, no, get no completely no, eradicated <clears throat> and it's going to be impossible. Um, so yeah, hopefully that uh, comes through um, but yeah I feel like I've gone on way too much I've gone on like more about cheating than actual league race <laughs> so sorry about that um, but yeah this is now Q3 you see in the background I'm now gonna go out yeah that guy is like 20 years old in his brain like He's a beast. He's a beast. He's a <laughs> Here in the He's background, not, there is a lot of just waffle. Um, <laughs> this league race was done quite uh, not a while ago, a couple of weeks ago ish. Um, and yeah, I kind of took more of a fun approach to these last league races. Um, just having a bit of fun with it. Yeah, he's, he's so the smartest on the grid. Like from what you were saying on the radio in far right, he was just like, "We're just gonna manage it." There's no I was just point talking about Alonso it. there. He's uh, that is not a man who has <laughs> for some reason we're really talking really about the real Grand Prix. Um, you know what I mean? For no hey, apparent hey, reason. No, no, he was, I think this was just yeah, was after fine. Bahrain. But, oh, sorry, um, it was eight so yeah, last year, uh, I thought I'd just include it um, yeah, it was to eight just show the fun approach I was taking to this race and the funny three, comments yeah, that were seven, getting seven, said in the chat so I've kind of ignored for a good reason just if you listen in the background some of them are quite funny um, <clears throat> but yeah now we're completely back onto the onto the qualifying um, we are gonna go for our first qualifying lap I the inside curve last the inside curve there, the start lap. But now, into our first run. Into turn one. Just missing the apex. A little bit too much on the outside curve, but not too shabby. That take good... English Jake. Took good speed. 15.9, uh, not too bad for a banker. Into the hairpin. Third gear, short shift into fourth. Up to fifth, sixth. And then pretty much just 
getting the optimum points down into point into turn four on the on the gear shifts, getting it in, hooked into the apex, out in fourth, pretty clean lap, not too on the limit, but yeah, pretty just bog standard lap. Um, but we ended up actually backing out of it. Um, I just didn't think it was good enough, and now I know it was a little bit confusing. This is a different lap. This is now we came in the pits, bolted on another set of softs, and went out. Um, heading into this, PB is a 7.6 uh, at 1 minute 3.76. So, as Luke's the WR manager or owner, taking the mic. Uh, but now, this is our last qualifying lap. This is where I'm at as P5 in the moment, but that will go down to about P9, P10. Um, there's a short track, track in Austria where you need to gain no mistakes because if you make a mistake you're going to be dropping a lot of positions through turn one now a little bit better that's pretty nice through turn one collected a little bit more of the inside curb than I wanted but yeah pretty decent through turn one a 9-3 first that's pretty decent into the hairpin getting the most RNG traction and rotation I've ever seen that never happened in practice, so we'll take it. That's absolutely ideal. Uh, through the right hand of turn four, pretty nice. Starting to gain a little bit more on the delta. Through here on my overlap, there was a bit of a mistake this time. We get it pretty nice. Tenth up, three two split. That's pretty nice. Um, now as we head into well, the last sector, this is where you make or break your lap. Uh, flinging it in sixth gear, flinging it in again, a little bit too on the limit, but yeah, we probably lost about half tenth in that last corner, but up to line. P3 it is um, about two hundredths off my PB, and there was definitely more time in it. You see a quite about tenth of bang bar around, just no, under a half tenth and a half off of um, Thomas Ronna. But into the race, uh, that's exactly where we want to be. Um, you can tell Crypt tonight's actually enjoying the top three in the championship the line. That one, two, three um, in this race. So this is going to be a crazy battle, um, to say the least. As this is a very important race. Whoever wins this race gives, gets the advantage and momentum into the final part as it's lights out and away we go really good launch Barry Boramand on our inside but we're going to have to let him go yield um, nothing we can really do there but getting a really good exit out of the first corner but Barry yeah, seems to be running a little bit less wing than us um, we're going to let him go settle into the race you can't win it on the first lap um, and yeah didn't use too much here as we will regain all of that year so we used in about a lap lap and a half so yeah not too bad uh decent start really good launch um so positive um we got barry thinking into turn three so that's all we really need to do the only better thing we could have done there is obviously pass him but then it would be risking the front wing risking a crash and risking a penalty so you see it though two temps behind we're looking strong initially um Settling into the race. Uh, again, Barry just doesn't look comfortable in these first couple of laps. Running a little bit low on wings. Um, you see, it, just driving away from us, really. Um, I need a fuel save. As I say, that I need a fuel we're save. <laughs> As Will was saying, there, we're boxing this lap on lap three. <laughs> we're, we're absolutely not. Um, but, yes. Yeah, Philip Preshnader in behind, looking strong in P4. Um, Isvan Puki just behind him. Thomas Ronar leading the way. Barry Boma and myself. Um, this is literally how the top three are. Um, but now this is interesting. Into, into lap seven. Barry Boma in the lead. Thomas, it doesn't look like he broke outbreak, but he hits the back of Barry. Barry gets stuck on the curb. And now Thomas has to let Barry pass. And we're going to take the lead in one corner. We've gone from third to first. Philip has a little look on us, but we 
cover it off pretty nicely. Um, and yeah, that'll do. Up into P1. Um, Philip in behind. He looks like he's he's pushing his ERS. He was pushing his ERS for a little bit unnecessarily, I think. Um, we were just saving. He was using a little bit. And he gets up into lead by this point. I think he was on about 60-ish percent. Um, whereas we're on a hunt. We did end up getting back past Philip. Uh, same with Barry. Um, and now Barry, lap 12, making a recovery, looking for a move on me to take the lead in this race. Two tenths behind, easy move. The extra straight line speed he has. You see a flying past like a red ball, um, to be honest. Um, but I wasn't too phased at the moment. I didn't really care. Um, you see Thomas back in fifth, trying to recover his way as well. But we end up breaking away from Philip. I don't know what he did, but if he used too much ERS or whatever, but we end up breaking away, me and Barry. Um, and by this point, it's looking pretty decent. Um, it looks like it's going to be a 1v1 between me and Barry for the race win. Uh, Philip now starting to really drop away, and now we're going to dart late into the pit lane. I think Barry tried to fake us, but... Yeah, we darted in quite late, um, staying in between the white lines, because that is what you have to do. Um, breaking for the pit lane, breaking it well, getting it stopped. Point three, wait for it to come up with 2.2. I don't actually use the green light, I use when it comes up to 2.2, because that's actually how long your pit stop is in online. Um, regain the battery all the way up. Out the pit lane we go, looking to the left there. On the bottom there's actually the mini map. Um, Istvan Puki, Ismail Farsi um, actually coming out the pits right behind us so we got cold tyres but they got a little bit older so they aren't going to be much of an issue as long as we get our tyres heated up uh, they won't be, oh my that is the worst line I've ever seen since sliced bread um, but yeah, <laughs> Barry you see here uh, the Ferrari on the right, he's going to have no momentum, cold tyres, so out the pit lane he comes, behind me, behind Ismail, and it looks like Istavan's looking for a move on Barry as well, um, Ismail's now pushing us, we're going to let Ismail go to the inside, not defend from him, because I knew he was going to send it there, Barry's actually getting swamped from Istavan Puki as well, so yeah, that's worked out pretty well for us. Ismail's the only one in front of Barry in Barry's way um, and it's looking like Barry's starting to put an attack onto Ismail Farsi Farsi, Farsi, sorry I don't know what it is Farsi? Nah it's Farsi innit? Ismail Farsi as Barry forces him out wide Ismail loses out a little bit um, and now it's me, Barry and Thomas somehow back into the top three positions um, Barry actually gets forced all the way out wide not sure what happened there, but he's now again having to recover. We've kind of just stayed out of arm's way. Um, Thomas looking for a move on us now. Two turns behind, 30, six laps to go. Um, and yeah, it's going to be looking like a very intense battle for the win. Um, Thomas up the inside, easy move, we let him go. Um, I saw this as quite good, because I knew Thomas wouldn't be on 100% and in the DRS we can definitely recover our ERS faster than him um, which is what we need um, you see it, Thomas up in front two laps to go now um, he actually gets DRS off this lap car which yeah it's not good we have to use ERS to get close to him because this is the lap I wanted to overtake him so yeah, that has pretty much done us over. I'm not really sure why the lap car did that. But yeah, now we're looking for a move on to Thomas. He defends the inside. We are going to go storming around the outside. Try and get the DRS, which we do. Get a switch back on Thomas. Let him run deep. We do quite nicely. But then he gets good traction out the corner. And now we're going to be looking for a move. He's using his battery and looking to the outside we didn't want to use too much battery there because I know how fast Thomas is I know he's going to um, get us back if we use too much of our energy too early because um, he'll be sticking like three turns behind us running a bit wide to get the exit into the middle sector um, and now with only three turns behind Thomas gets a good exit out of there though 
and still only three tenths behind um, as we head into the two long straights this is where it make or break the luck race when Barry close behind four tenths um, out the corner we go starting the final lap of the race a three way fight of the top three in the championship into turn one it started to rain actually into turn one big snap of oversteers that completely messed up our momentum three temps ahead for Thomas Ronner um, heading into the hairpin are we going to send it we are we're going <laughs> to absolutely fling it out the inside bit ambitious from us there um, Thomas comes back on the track hits us Barry now on the extra straight line speed comes in takes the positions and now we're going to be fighting Thomas and Barry Thomas sends it hits us oh out wide my God, these two, back man. up the inside and now, worth to note, me and Thomas actually got five second penalties. <laughs> um, so, not ideal, but yeah, we're still going to fight to the flag. Um, yeah, you see it's treacherous conditions here in in Spielberg, um, in the Styrian Mountains. Um, as my phone's going off, popular. Um, but yeah, through the final corner, not really much else. That's just oh, a mistake man. on my part. I should have played it a lot differently. Uh, definitely could have won if I played it smarter. But the end, in the end, I got a five-second penalty for the move on Thomas. Thomas got five seconds as well. So Barry wins the race and me and Thomas get eighth and ninth. After not being outside the top three, getting ninth is just awful. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, that's how it goes sometimes. You overhit the limit here and there yeah appreciate everyone watching um and yeah have a good one cheers